All right, time now for our thoughts that if the Indians can win the series, what will it take? Jensen, what will it take for the Tribe to beat New York? Got to hit with runners in scoring position. You cannot allow opportunities because they're going to be few and far between, especially against Garrett Cole and Tanaka. Have to hit in those situations. I'll agree with that, and I'll up you one more. The Indians have to outpitch the Yankees. Why? Because if it gets into an offensive battle, the Yankees have too much firepower. The Indian strength has been pitching. Outpitch the Yankees, you can win this best of three series. No team has played in the postseason more than the New York Yankees. They're also 237 and 168 in the postseason, so they've been very successful. Before the time of playoffs, when it was just the World Series, during the era of playoffs, they've been successful there as well. Nobody has more World Series titles. Nobody has more American League pennants. Nobody has more wild card berths than the Yankees. Uh, when you look at how this format for the 2020 season is going to play out, I've kind of alluded to March Madness because you're going to have upsets. You're going to have teams that maybe are seated lower that have a real good opportunity because of the condensed nature of this best of three. They may knock off some of the top seeds. It's no foregone conclusion that the chalk is going to hold here. You look out at the southern tip of Nevada, a lot of the pundits having the Yankees as a slight favorite over the Indians. Fine. That's a good thing for the Indians. They love being the underdog. And I think there is a certain amount of this team that believes they're getting taken for granted because the Indians offense hasn't been as vaunted as the Yankees. They're pitching. What do we say in October all the time? Great pitching beats great hitting. That's a big thing to remember here in this series this season. And in September, they were 20 and, or 10 and 10 in their final 20 games. But what I found interesting with the tribe was that 10 and 10 mark. They had to endure an eight game losing streak and then they come back and win six out of the last seven, nine out of the last 11. That shows you that they got themselves on track just in time here for the postseason. Yeah, they needed to face, I think, a little bit of that adversity and also understand what they were good at and what they needed to make adjustments with. To me, the key was when Francisco Lindor texted Sandy Alomar Jr. and said, hey, I need to go from the three spot back to my home in the leadoff spot. That put Jose Ramirez back in the three hole where he was a perennial MVP candidate for a couple of years. It's also, I think, calmed Frankie down. It's allowed him to be patient at the plate, take his walks, be a threat on the base pass, and that has opened up the top portion of this offense in a big, big way. I think maybe in middle relief, the Yankees have a touch of an advantage, but the Indians will add Tristan McKenzie to the bullpen as well, so that's another weapon that they'll have at their disposal. When you take a look at these numbers, you see the Indians' bullpen has pitched less innings, but they have more saves and holds. Well, the thing is, the Yankees have been ahead by bunches of runs. So their offense has really allowed that bullpen to not be in a lot of tight scenarios. So you could look at this two ways. The Yankees are going to try and make this a seven-inning game because then you get to Zach Britton and Roldis Chapman in the back end. What they want to do is they want to try and elevate pitch counts of both Bieber and Carrasco so that it forces Sandy Alomar Jr. to use a McKenzie, to use someone in the middle. This bullpen advantage, I think, is slightly in the Yankees' favor because they are so good at being so patient. They are going to make you throw a ton of pitches, and then when you get to these guys, the two dueling lefties, you can throw Adovino in there as well, a guy that has really late movement. They've got a dynamic trio of their own to finish out games. They certainly do, and they also have basically three closers. They have Chapman, they have Britton, uh, they have Adovino. All those guys could close for anybody in Major League Baseball. So the bullpen advantage, I'll agree, slight advantage to the New York Yankees.